Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to update your Windows 11 to version 25H2. Because of this error code, download error, that is 0x8000 4002. So if you are receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to pause and restart the update. So open Windows settings, go to Windows update. And over here you can see pause option, pause the update. Once paused, now resume the updates and then you can check. Still not working start these services now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find windows update in the list scroll down here you can see windows update make a double click make a double click on windows update and then set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok make a right click click on restart Now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Make a right click on background intelligent, now click on restart. Now once done, go. find app readiness, make a double click, set this to automatic, click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Make a right click on app readiness, click on restart. Now you can check, still not working, run this command. So type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Copy all these commands one by one. Paste it over here, hit the enter key. And then let this process will take some time. It will run a scan. Once the scan is 100% complete, copy the second command, paste it on the same window. Once the second scan is 100% complete, copy the third command, paste it on the same window. And once the third scan is 100% complete, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Now the next step is to use Windows 11 installation assistant. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. If there is any update, you will see update option or install option. You can update it from here and then check. Still not working. The next step is to use fix problems using Windows update. For this, open Windows settings, Windows update advanced option, recovery option, and here you can see fix problems using Windows Update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. So click on reinstall now. This process will take some time, and once done, restart your computer and then check. The last step is you use Media Creation Tool. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. Scroll down here, you can see Media Creation Tool. Click on Download now, and then run this exe file. And then click on accept over here click on accept and then by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file over here and then click on next you can save it to desktop save now let the download complete this process will take some time and then once done click on finish and then let this close automatically it will take a couple of seconds so maybe a minute to close now go to desktop make a double click double click on windows iso file run the setup file make a double click Click on yes to allow click on next over here accept over here by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked over here when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then update your windows 11 and one of the steps shown in this video should help you to update your windows 11 to version 25 h2 successfully so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel